Okay, so sorry about that random stuff going on. And this music is the title screen of Fruit Ninja. And yes, this is still the Halloween thingy because I haven't updated the game yet. I'm going to right after this video though, so don't worry about that. But anyway, what is up guys? Yoshi Bomb here, and today I'm playing Fruit Ninja. And this is going to be a very short video show showing you guys how to get how, how to get a combo over 20 in arcade mode. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is this blade that I'm swiping around right now called the, um, uh, oh yeah, called the Autumn Gust Blade. And I will show you its perks once I go in here. It automatically shows the perk. The, each pineapple slice creates a tornado, which is really good. The tornado, I, I counted, it lasts, um, about six seconds like five and a half to six seconds i gotta change this one this dojo back to um straight wave because um yeah it's a chance of a random 10 fruit mega wave just showing up and trust me you'll know when the you'll know when the wave comes you will know but anyway without further ado let's get into a, a game so i can show you guys so first of all, we're going to need some pineapples to spawn, so you guys can see the tornado in the first place. Well, it's good that we just got a frenzy, so you slice the pineapple. Had to slice this to get the freeze. Now slice this pineapple for another tornado. See? Slice it through. You can get super high combos very easily. And if you don't slice all the fruit, which I haven't done, all the fruit engulfed in a tornado during the frenzy, then you just have to um, slice again. You'll still get a really high combo. There's some really good stuff. There's the mega wave. There's another one. And frenzy. There's the tornado. And I got the freeze. It, as you can see, it actually freezes like the timer. Yeah. Slice that again. Oh, friends are still going? Oh, well, C13 for combo. 15 for combo. This is insane. Dang, my score is over a thousand? And I got the freeze right as the time ended. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Will I beat my high score? Crap! Missed my high score by seven. Still, that was amazing. That was just, oh god, not, not that new toy. It's creeping me out. Uh, meanwhile, as you can see, it's lagging. Here we go. 1,310 is my final score. And I've leveled up. So that's a good thing. You got 500 star fruit. And let me show you. And as you can see, you can use star fruit to skip missions, like right here. And let me show you another thing that star fruit is good for. For mini games. See, down here, this little jar. Up Anyway, there are a lot of different mini games. I will play three. Even though I actually I think I might just play all of them. But I don't have enough time. So this first one is called Juggle. It automatically gives you the wind blade. So what you have to do is um there are these golden dragon fruits. And basically Every time you hit one, it just bounces up. You can't actually cut one. But if you slice a berry, if you slice a strawberry near the dragon fruit, um, they literally explode. So, and when they explode, um, the more, um, the more dragon fruits you have close to the berry, the more explode. And when they explode, it gives you a score of 50. And at the same time, you're trying to use the wind blade to, um, juggle 
um, all of the other um, dragon fruit. There are a lot being thrown up on the screen, so you should just see it for yourself. See, like that, it blew up. Yeah. You see, very... And you can hear the sounds of metal and stuff, because this is made of gold. And as you can see, stuff is blowing up. And stuff is made of gold. If anything, I would like to see much bigger explosions, though. And I forgot to say, when time runs out, all the dragon food on the screen explodes. So I'm going to try and keep it in on the screen. Oh, wow. So. And that one did. Not bad. Dang it. Dang it. Well, at least I got a new high score. It was pretty cool. Oh, wait. I have to go do something. Hold up. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. And so, yeah, I'm back. Now we're gonna do a couple more mini games. Next one is back in the room. So the next one we're gonna do is, ti is time attack. Forget what this one is. I think you just go for as long as possible, though. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um. It's kind of like arcade mode, except um, you have a very low amount of time, and each time you slice a lemon, it adds one extra, yeah, one second of extra time. So 20 seconds. Basically, another arcade mode. They fill out. They fill out like a ton of lemons. I think this is a firecracker blade. Oh. The one second thing he's filling up my screen. Oh. Oh, wow. So, let's see. Dang. That should have been a combo. Not getting a lot of combos right now. Oh, more lemons. Stop for like 14 seconds. No, I need more lemons. More lemon! There we go. Not bad. New best. And more random advertisements and lag. You know, the usual fruit ninja stuff. So, yeah. Not bad there either. The next thing we're going to have is Juggle and Swarm is my favorite. Swarm is the next one we're going to do. So let's hit that. Sorry if my voice sounds like it's far away. I just uh, keep putting the phone closer and farther away to my face. So this one is, well, the bombs follow your blade and they never fall. Meanwhile, you're still trying to get a high score, so I just have them. Up in the corner, or in this corner. Oh. Don't you dare! Oh. Yeah, stay, stay over here. Well, as you can see, these are purple bombs, not red ones. So if I hit one of them, it just decreases my score by 20. Even though I don't want to hit any of them. Because raw. Crap. I would have, like, blown up the entire dojo by now. Do you see how many bombs are on the screen? Yeah, I know the wrong star, don't I? 
Yeah, I did pretty bad that time. But I think some of the other times I probably never hit a bomb, so let's go to cherry bomb mode. This one is called bomb bomb and you have to slice cherries. Yeah, cherry if you slice the cherry Yeah, the cherries are gonna be like you want to slice the cherries when they're glowing, which is when they're near bombs. Like that. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. This is insane. Oh! And then it slows back down again. But the more in a row, the faster it gets. And I ran out of time with a score of 710. You basically get the gist of the, like, the, these games as you watch them being played, or you play them for yourself. So. I'm not going to do a lot of explaining for the next one, also because I have like only to play with this before. So next is fortune mode. This one is just throws up a bunch of jars, and I keep in here jars spawn extra food. And again, don't slice bombs. Oh, crap. Forgot to say, for stuff that's going from jars float for a couple seconds. I think this is the Shadow Blade. And jars always spawn three fruit, unless it's, in, unless it's two fruit and then it is all like that. It gives you, uh, I don't know why it has a set blade for every mode. And these blades do absolutely nothing. I mean, yeah, in the mini games they do nothing, but they still look pretty cool. Can I take this? We're just like expending the time to the maximum by slicing all those jars. Blah blah blah. More advertisements, lag, technical difficulties, and stuff. Oh, that's a one eighty eight. Which kind of sucks. And as you can see, the blade magic can change from the same thing to the other mode. So now the last mode that we have left to do is quick draw. I mean, quick draw. I was looking at the one. I was looking at the one. Quick draw. This one is like, um, everything is flying extremely fast, and you just have to, like, literally quick draw. If you don't know what that is, search that on Google. Like sword quick draw or something. Anyway, it's like when someone pulls out a sword and slices, like that instant. So yeah, let's do it. Oh, the lightning bolt. Forgot about that. Bombs everywhere. Oh. You have to be really fast. This is where you test your speed. Dang it. I'm not too good at this mode though, because you know there are bombs flying everywhere. Yeah. As you can see, this really sucks. I'll finish that off with a score of 215, which is pretty bad from what I've done in the past. So let's hit continue, and I think I will just end the video here. Yeah, how long have I not done this video? Why? I don't even know. But anyway, um, yeah. But yeah, if you if you enjoyed the video, um, yeah, leave, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you don't want to miss the, my next video. 
go check out my other videos. I've done some pretty cool stuff in the past, like um, some retro games on my Wii U. But I was only able to play those games because they're Super Mario Brothers masterpieces. Because I don't, I don't have a lot of good equipment for recording the screen on the TV yet. But I'm working on it, so eventually I will have something good, and I will try to find something so I can record the screen on my 3DS. But again, this is like the end of the video, and I'm sorry if this in and the outro is really long, but I'm just saying stuff. But yes, yeah, subscribe for more, leave a like, and yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next video.